I've been asked this morning to come here to this farm to shoot uh, a load of squirrels for the farmer. Um, they've been breeding all through the summer now and there's absolutely stacks of them on this land. So the farmer's phoned me up and said, can I clear a few of them out? So I've come here this morning. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to work the woodlands uh, this morning and see how we get on. I'm going to do a bit of static hunting. Um, we'll do a little bit of slow, very slow stalking in some of the parts of the farm here and just generally see what we can get. Um, the kit I'm going to be using today is this uh, Urban Rapid Mark II. It's a uh, 30 foot pound FAC rated um, Theoban using Bisley Magnums. So we'll see how we get on. I like using the FAC for squirrels, particularly here because it's safe. Um, I'm miles away from anything that could be in any danger. It's surrounded by fields and slopes, there's plenty of backstops. Um, and also that extra power gives me a little bit of an advantage on the squirrels because I can take them at a little bit further range than with a normal standard 12 foot pounder. So we won't wait any longer, Let's see how we get on. So I've settled in here against this tree in this first woodland and it's not long before my first squirrel turns up. I take aim at his head for a 55 yard shot and take him cleanly as you can see there. Two minutes later this squirrel turns up seeing what all the commotion is about but I can't take a shot at him for safety reasons. There's a road directly behind him so I have to let this one go. Ten minutes later I spot this squirrel here and I take him with a nice clean neck shot and down he goes nicely. This one here is about half an hour or so later. I aim for his shoulder but for some reason the pellet doesn't do enough damage to his uh, heart and lungs and I have to re-bolt and take him with an, a second shot which I place between his shoulder blades just to finish him off. That there's the first squirrel that you saw me shoot. And this one is the second with that well placed shot straight through his neck as you can see there. They're all healthy squirrels here. And this one is the third. It's fallen into a bit of uh, brash there, making him a little bit hard to retrieve. But again, another nice healthy squirrel. Right, that's one part of the woodland covered. Um, I think we'll head up now to this other big woods above me here. It's quite a big wood up there, it goes on for quite a distance, I think it's about half a mile deep that wood, in the furthest part of it roughly. Um, the weather is actually starting to turn a little bit now, so starting to get small little showers coming in and the wind's picked up a little but I've got the good kit on so it should keep me dry. Uh, we're just going to have a go and see what we can get. So I know there's a lot, of, lot more squirrels on this place to take out. See how we do. So I've spotted another squirrel and decide to use this tree to rest against to give me a nice steady 45 yard headshot that you see me take there. And down he goes. So I make my way forward here to pick up the squirrel you just saw me shoot to put him in the game bag. As you can see there. There we go. Perfect 45 yard headshot. Nice and clean. In and out, look, as you can see. Deeper into the woodland, I spot this squirrel here. It's about 120 yards away. Way too far, even with my FAC rated air rifle. So I stalk up a little bit closer and manage to get within 50 yards of him. I give him a little squeak to try and make him sit still so I can take a shot at him. But he just doesn't sit still for long enough for me to get a bead on him. And he runs for cover and then up the tree that's in the distance. But I do manage to get within 30 yards of him, stalking nice and slowly here.
This does happen occasionally when you're shooting animals that are a bit fidgety and won't sit still for very long. If this does happen, the best thing to do is remain calm and just wait for the animal to present himself so you can take a second well placed shot that you saw me do straight at his head. Going by where I hit him in the shoulder, I'm surprised he managed to run up the tree further at all. It just goes to show how hardy these animals can be. It's really important that when you're stalking through woodlands like I am here, through this sort of debris with trees and leaves that are on the floor, that you go as quiet as you possibly can. It's not easy. And you're never going to go totally silent. It's just you need to try and be a bit quieter than a herd of cattle running through. And the quieter and the slower you go, the more you will see and the closer you'll get to game. It's just a case of placing your feet really gently and just moving slowly. And as you'll see in this next clip, it does pay off. I managed to sneak up to this squirrel here, who's about 35 yards away. But there is a maze of twigs in front of him and I get a small gap to take a shot through. Just as so I'm going to squeeze the trigger, he moves his head. And the obvious happens. Clipped a tree just before him. So I'm making my way here through another patch of woodland, trying to go very steady and careful as I go, trying not to crunch these leaves that's underfoot too loudly. Further along I spot this squirrel. He's hiding behind this tree and thinks that I can't see him. So I'm going to try and manoeuvre myself around this tree nice and slowly. And try and take aim. And there's like a horseshoe shape in the tree you can see there with a branch. And he's right in the bottom of that dip. If you look carefully you can see him. So I take him with a nice clean headshot at 20 yards. I start to move in slowly and cautiously just in case there are any more squirrels in this area that I might get a shot at. It's very hard to go quietly here again. As you can see there's loads of leaves on the floor. It's just like walking on Rice Krispies around this area here. I just go slow and steady. And as you can see there, that's the squirrel I just shot with a nice clean headshot. Nice clean through the head. Perfect headshot. I could just see the top of his head then. Hopefully the camera got the footage of that. As you can see there, in and straight out the other side. So on my way back to my car I spot this squirrel. But I give him a bit too much aim off and the pellet goes clean over the top of his head. Resulting in a clean miss and him running to safety. I can't win them all. So I've come to the end of my squirrel hunt for today. And as you saw, I've managed to shoot six nice squirrels there. Squirrels can be quite challenging and can take a lot of patience to hunt them. But if you are patient, it does pay off in the end, as you've seen. So all that's left to do now is skin and gut these and then prepare them for the table. <laughs>